Hello, it's time for Facebook Live. I'm just gonna wait a few minutes. I'm about a minute early and let people get logged on here. And I'll get myself logged on on my computer. Let's see, I'm gonna hit that. And here comes Karen and Sarah. Hi, you guys, welcome. Debbie, glad you could make it tonight. Karen from Arizona. Well, I have to tell you, Karen from Arizona, I think we're experiencing a little of your weather. <laughs> Here in Wisconsin, it is super, super hot. And I have to tell you, don't throw stones at me. I love it. My husband and I both, we have central air in our house, but we refuse to turn it on. It's like a contest. Who can hold out to see who breaks down and turns on the central air? And it's not going to be me. I'm winning. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Hi, Jody. Hi, Leanne. We've got Karen. Okay, let me see if I can pull myself up here. Why is my computer not going to my Facebook Live? Hi, Kathy. Hi, Suzette. I know it's a holiday weekend, so yeah. Okay, here I come. Whoops, I thought I'd put that on mute. There we go. Okay, Linda from Idaho, welcome. Hi, Heather. Sandy, Sherry, welcome, Sherry and Julie. Glad you guys could make it tonight. Hi, Michael, how are you? Linda's here. Beth is here. So, it's been two weeks since I've done a Facebook Live, and I heard from some of you that you were having withdrawals. Well, let me tell you, I was having withdrawals too, so you're not alone with that. I'm like, oh, I miss my peeps. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Mary. Um, let's see, what's happening? Well, I have been working like a dog making swap cards. I've made, um, let's see. Today is Sunday, so on Friday I made 42 swap cards and got those off in the mail to Texas. And then I thought I could start working on other things, but I was wrong. I almost forgot about a swap that I host myself. And um, I needed to make 28 cards for that, two different designs, 14 each or 13 or something like that. So I stayed up till 2 in the morning Friday night working on those, got up Saturday morning and finished them up and got them to the post office before they closed. So I was super excited about that. We've I even hand delivered one today and I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. So it is the season for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. We have a new catalog coming out. We had a pre-order that started May 1st. Um, where Stampin' Up! allows us to order uh, a few items that they have predetermined. And so we swap with those. Now the catalog is going live. Um, <laughs> Karen, you would lose the contest hands down. No. Um, we have a brand new catalog going live on Friday. Right? Friday. Yes. Yeah, so that's super exciting. So once we get to... Um, get to order out of that new catalog, a whole nother series of swaps is gonna start with Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. So it's a really busy time for us, which is great. And I love participating in swaps. That's how I get all these ideas I can share with you. Um, you know, this all doesn't come from me. I'm great at casing stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you don't have a demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on a catalog and you have never ordered from me before, um, please pop me an email or leave a message for me. It's kind of hard to find the messages that are being left on um, after the video because there's a ton of them, which is awesome. But if you would pop me an email, my email address is kelly at astampabove.com. And if you pop me an email and say you'd like a new catalog, I'd be happy to send you one. I just sent out a huge box of them on Friday to people who have ordered from me since I closed out my mailing selector. So we go into Stampin' Up! into our customer manager and I can do a sort that um, I choose all my customers that have ordered from me $50 in the last six months and all those people get new catalogs for me. So I choose who I want them to be sent to and we have to pay for those. It's quite an expensive little endeavor, but it's totally worth it. And um, that mailing selector closed out April 30th. So 
I sent out another big box of priority mail catalogs to um, all my customers that have ordered since then that were new and weren't on that list. Thank you, Elaine. I miss you too. Um, you think I should do a swap with my Facebook Live watchers, Linda? That is a very good idea. I'm going to write that down. Facebook Live Swap. I've been thinking about doing some card challenges on my um, Facebook page, so that would be really fun. Hi, Christy. It's been a long time. I'm glad you could join tonight. Oh, Heather says that would be a lot of fun. Michael likes that idea. Oh, you may be on to something here. I think I might do that. I'll get all of the logistics. That's a hard word to say. Figured out and um, see what I can come up with. What else is happening? Um, once the catalog goes, okay, so the catalog is live on June 1st, which is Friday, but it won't be live until noon, mountain time. Um, Stampin' Up! has to get the whole online catalog transitioned over. It takes a while. Sometimes there's some little bugs, so you won't be able to order until after noon, um, mountain time, on June 1st. I wanted to let you guys know the Stampin the new Stampin blends will be available mid June. They're not going to be available June 1st, but they will be mid June. And then I wanted to ask, who wants to come to Orlando and meet me in November? I do. And I'm asking you that because Stampin Up has their 30th year anniversary in Orlando. It is uh they call it on stage. We still call it convention. It is a hoot, and it is so much fun to be with people that like the same thing that you like, like crazy stampers, crazy stampers. Michael, I would love for you to be there. Um, so if anybody's interested, if you want to join my team, I take, take really, really good care of my team. We have our own Facebook page that's private. I have a team blog. I do a team meeting every month, and if you're long distance, I do that on Facebook Live. So that's really cool. Um, so you can be there. And if you do watch live, you're entered in all the door prizes that I give away. We have a lot of fun on my team. Whether you want to be a business builder or a discount shopper, it's amazing. You'll love it. And um, most people have a really big wish list for this new catalog. For $99, you can order $125 worth of product pay no shipping on it, and um, what else? There's no shipping. All you have to do is pay tax on that. So you're getting $25 free. It's a win-win. I hope you guys will think about it because I'd love to have you on my team. You can be a discount shopper or you can build a business like I have, and boy, what a ride this has been. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you? Oh, another um, announcement. The new planner, the calendar planner, will not be available until June 11th, so that won't be available on June 1st. Um, the June Paper Pumpkin Kit, we have something really exciting. It is going to coordinate with one of the product suites in the new catalog. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin before June 10th, you will get this special kit. And I think it's gonna be amazing because I can't tell you the suite that it coordinates with. That's a hush hush. But uh, it's one of the suites that's on my first order wish list. Like I make several wish lists. I have to have this right now. I can wait a little bit on this. I might want that. But this um, suite that it coordinates with is on my right now wish list. So. Um, paper pumpkin, you can go to my blog, www.stampabove.com. Over in the right-hand column is a paper pumpkin button where it'll take you right to subscribe. So it's pretty cool. And Carol, thank you very much for saying that you love discount shopping because why wouldn't you get a discount on all your product, right? It's perfect. Okay, so that's enough little businessy stuff. Um, what's been happening in my life life? Uh, we just went to a benefit for my stepdaughter, Anna. Um, she has a permanent camper in Wild Rose and it is, um, her camper friends had a benefit for her. So there were basket raffles and then what do you buy those, um, paddles things and they spin the wheel and then you win stuff and all of that. And we had so much fun and I am happy to, um, say that Anna 
this group of friends are amazing. They, um, what do I want to say? They fundraised enough money so that Anna can pay off all of her out-of-pocket medical expenses from this last horrible five, six-month ordeal. So, super, super fun. Linda, your granddaughter loves her first paper pumpkin kit. That's awesome. They're perfect for kids, too, and what a great gift to be able to give her. That is so sweet that you did that. Uh, let's see, what else? I was in Wyoming last weekend. That's why I wasn't here. Um, I went to visit my friend Barb with my friend Dina, and we had a blast. Um, we got so much work done. Hi, Kathy Stotts. Glad you could tune in. Um, we actually are collaborating on some things, and we designed 45 cards with new bundles out of the new catalog that we will be sharing with you. Oh, my gosh. So I have a bunch of online classes coming to you soon, and I need to get my button gear and get those finalized because I have to make videos for each one of them and type up a project sheet so that I am ready to go with these online classes. It's going to be super fun. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, what else? My friend Barb gave us pillow gifts every single day. It was amazing. So I thought I'd start by sharing some of the cute packaging that she made. She used the new, I think it's called Artistic Impression stamp set to stamp up this tissue paper. She dyed this organza ribbon, which is a cool thing to do to make it match. She used some of the shred that was from the Occasions catalog in here. And let me show you. She even packaged this in a Ziploc bag so that we wouldn't have any problem in our luggage coming home. But this is Wash Away Your Sins Soap. <laughs> it says, kill sins on contact. Reduces guilt by 98.9% or more um, for liars, cheaters, and wrongdoers. And she's being funny, believe me. It says, tempting, do it again, Easter lily scent. Press the pump, anoint the palms, Rub hands together piously. Rinse, repent, go forth, go forth cleansed from sin, ready to do it again. So how cute is that? Uh, what else did we get? We got a package of socks that are super, super cute. Oh, yeah. I have to be careful with these super, super cute socks. We got this little box that she made with the new... I don't remember what this paper is called, but it's the new paper with the artistic impression stamp set. It kind of matches that. She made this and she put some hand lotion, like a hand ointment thing in here with a real cute title that I'm not really gonna show you, but it's super funny. So we got that. And then we got some gum in this. This is our Share What You Love designer series paper. And it's just um, a little envelope that she put some funny gum in. So that was super cute. And then this gift is one of our pizza boxes. So I've sent some of those out for gifts um, from the drawing for winning stuff. And um, this is just a cute way to adorn it. And then she also used some shred out of our Occasions mini catalog inside. And guess what was in it? This. And I have to show you. This keychain that has my initial on it and it's got monogrammed on the back and each one of us has a matching keychain with our initial on it and I my friend Barb is the sweetest person ever right this was just it was cool and the reason why she did pillow gifts well because she loves us number one <laughs> but number two is because when we go on a stamping up trip like our incentive trip we get pillow gifts every night when we come back to our room. It's amazing. You feel like the queen of your kingdom on these Stampin' Up! trips. So she gave us pillow gifts every night just like we were at a Stampin' Up! event. It was super, super fun. Okay, what else did we do? Um, we celebrated Dina's birthday while we were there, and it was kind of funny because um, Barb bought her son some um, fireworks, and unbeknownst to him, he didn't realize that you weren't supposed to shoot off the fireworks in the house. <laughs> so he had this big firework thing and you twisted it and it, it popped really loud and confetti flew everywhere. And he did that for Tina's birthday when we were doing the birthday cake. 
<laughs> Dean is like, I don't think I can hear out of my ear anymore. And um, his mom was like, what are you doing? But it was so funny and nothing was hurt, but except Dina's ear and she can hear again. So it's good. But it was super funny because we're like, ah! um, what else happened? Let's see. The sheriff, which is Barb's husband, um, he has a potato gun. So we got to do that one night and that was super fun. You shoot potatoes out of this PVC pipe thing. That was really cool. And at my house, um, we tore out the cement at the end of the pool closest to the house, tore our deck off the house, tore out the cement on the close end of the pool, tore out the cement in front of our garage, and we are getting new cement poured early this next week. And it, it hopefully will be done because I have my used stamp sale June 2nd. So if you're local, set an alarm on your phone. Used stamp sale starts at 3 p.m. on June 2nd. No, no, no. 9 a.m. on June 2nd, and it goes until 3 p.m. There are no early sales, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, come, come to the used stamp sale. We're going to have a ton of stuff. People are already dropping stuff off to put in the sale, so that's super exciting. Uh, what else? I will need helpers to help pack stuff up at 3 o'clock to put it away and um, then people come back and get the stuff that didn't sell. So if anybody is available to help, can you please pop me an email and let me know that because we do need a few more people to do that. That's a big job. Um, oh, well, for some of you that follow me, I can't remember where I posted it, but I got home late Sunday night from Wyoming and Monday morning, I went to leave. I was being a good girl. I was headed to the gym to do my crazy workout. And I'm happy to tell you guys, I'm down nine pounds. Nine pounds. I was down nine pounds before I left. I came back and then I was only down six pounds. Um, but now I'm back down nine pounds. So I'm super excited about that. I'm still, um, you know, hating life. <laughs> no, I love life. But I really do hate dieting and I hate exercise. So I'm still going. Woohoo! Um, so I was backing out of the driveway to go to the gym. And I went to the end of the driveway. And our driveway is real close to our house. So I'm always looking out of my driver's side mirror, watching the house, got to the end of the driveway. I looked both ways. There were some cars coming. I waited for them to go. I looked both ways again. Boom. Out in the street I went. Crash! There's a dumpster at the end of our driveway from tearing the deck off the house and I smashed into it and it smashed down the whole passenger side of my Explorer is just completely wrecked. So I didn't cry. I was really close. Yeah, Linda, diet is a four letter word. Um, there was no crying. I was pretty disgusted. There were some bad words that flew out of my mouth when I jumped out and looked at it. And I'm like, oh my Lord, what have I done? I don't do stupid things like that. Like that's really uncharacteristic for me. And um, my truck is old. It's a Ford Explorer and it's old. And um, I think we've had it since Haley was like 15 and she's gonna be 24. And it's been a good truck. It's all paid for. I was going to drive it forever, and now I'm kind of feeling like I don't know if I can drive around in a wrecked truck. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Hopefully I can stick with it, because I love not having truck payments. Oh, my Lord, cars are such a waste of money, and I hate them. But, you know, it's a necessary evil. All right, what else? Um, I bought... A new helmet with my gift certificate that I got for the Harley Davidson store for Mother's Day. So that was exciting. And today, today, I went for my very first Harley ride with my husband. It was super excited. I loved it. Um, I said, when we're done with the Facebook Live, I would like to go for another ride. And he's like, well, I don't know about that. It might be dark and whatever. He's very cautious, which is kind of interesting to me. I think since he had his near-death experience last year... Um, it's really made him think a little differently about things because I would have thought he would have been like, yeah, let's go, let's do this, let's run on the bike here. But he's like, he's a little hesitant and that's good because he doesn't want to kill me. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right, I think I'm done chattering here. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, oh, let me get the winners here. We have drawings from last time, which was I think the 13th. So I'm going to start off with, 
uh, Deb Fickett. Deb is from Aberdeen, South Dakota. She is going to get the Birthday Wit stamp set. And Deb was the winner for her comment. So congratulations, Deb. And then our next one is Lori Hyde. Lori, you are going to get the Simple Stripes Embossing Folder. And Lori's drawing was for sharing my video. So while we're there, don't forget to share my video. You can do it right now. Share, share, share. I love, I love that you're sharing my video and I really appreciate it. And then last, but certainly not least, for placing an order, Lori Eidenberger, you are winning the Epic Celebration stamp set. Super excited to be sending this to everybody. There will be drawings again for your comments. I do a drawing for everybody commenting. You get entered in a drawing. I do a drawing if you share the video, you get entered in another drawing. And also for your online orders. And um, as soon as I turn the camera around, you'll be able to see the host code. You can always find that on the right column of my blog. So go to my blog, www.astampabove.com. Look in the right-hand column, and you will find this little owl guy, this little owl right here. You'll see a little box there, and it'll say May Host Code. Now, that host code is going to be um, done on Thursday, and I will have a brand-new host code up on June 1st for you to use for your June orders. And it, you get entered in a drawing for the ordering part from today until my next Facebook Live. So anything that comes in in that amount of time gets entered into the drawing, regardless of which host code you use. So, all right, I have some cards to show you. I have some really fun cards to make with you, but I have some cards to show you that I received in the mail that are super duper cute. So I'm gonna flip my phone around. Um, if you get motion sickness, you need to close your eyes and I will tell you when to open them again. I don't want anybody throwing up while we're stamping. That's gross. And uh, if we happen to get disconnected, I will start a new Facebook Live. You'll need to click on the title of my page, which is a stamp above your creative coach and um, scroll down till you find me live again. This, I've, I, I don't think I've ever, um, I've never killed you guys. <laughs> I've had some problems, but not that. Okay, hang tight. Okay, we are turned over. Don't look yet if you get motion sickness. I've still got some adjusting to do here to get my camera rolling. So I need to pull it up. There we go. And oh, I have to tell you guys, it is super duper hot here. In Menasha, Wisconsin like it's not this hot but our temperature gauges are going crazy the one outside said 110 that's not right the one in my kitchen said 111 <laughs> that's not working properly either but yeah it is super duper hot okay you can open your eyes now and so when we got back from our Harley ride today we both jumped in the pool and lazed around for a little while my husband has got that thing running like Super quick. We just opened it up, I think maybe on Tuesday, took the cover off of it, you know, hammered it with chemicals and it's ready to swim and we've never had it be ready that quick. So that's cool. All right. So here's some cards I want to show you. So I had a special visit from a gal from Indiana, Jody Peterson. I hope you're watching tonight, Jody. And um, hang on. My Facebook Live just froze on my laptop. There we go. Oh, Kathy said it was 81 there. Yeah. Oh, her list said 100 too. Well, maybe it was 111. I don't think it was. But anyways, um, a gal from Indiana contacted me and said that she's originally from Nina. She was going to be visiting her father in Oshkosh for a couple weeks and wondered if we could have lunch. And so I'm like, well, heck yeah, I love to go to lunch. So I met up with her in Nina at Zupa's. Oh, they have the best salads ever. And um, she gave me this card, and I absolutely love it. Look at this. Woo, fancy. So we will make one of these. Maybe next week we'll um, make one of these. I just thought it was just so beautiful. So Jody, thank you so much for that. And she said, thanks, for, thanks so much for your constant inspiration. And that just really, oh my gosh, doesn't that make your day? Makes my day. Know that. And then... 
Let's see, this card, oh my gosh, I got this from Suzette Lewis, and Suzette, I know you're watching. This is the cutest card ever, tickled pink for you, and um, Suzette didn't write in her card. She just put it on a post-it note, so that's really sweet. I can reuse this card. It says, Kelly, you inspire me every day. Thank you, Suzette, and how cool is that? Now, here's the cool thing. She used fun foam to stamp on here, and I think that we'll do something with that on my next Facebook Facebook Live, too. So, Suzette and Jody, thank you so much. You're inspiring me. So, I'll, I'll see if I can come up with something as cool as your cards were. And then, the next card that I got was from my wonderful friend, Dina. And um, this is using the new paper and the new dye from, oh, and the new color from our new catalog. And this one says, thanks so much for making our trip so awesome. I had a great time and I love the cute plaque. You are my favorite rock star. <laughs> yeah, we tease about being rock stars. So, yeah. Um, so isn't that pretty? And she used the gold foil paper for this. And just a really simple card. But, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. So thanks, everybody, for the cards. I love getting cards in the mail. I hope you love sending cards in the mail because you know how that just really brightens somebody's day. It's amazing. All right, I know, Kathy, I love that new color too. I can't remember what it's called, but it is delicious. All right, are we ready to stamp? Let me get all my supplies out here because I have a lot going on here. Um, we are going to be using, let me show you here. I'll set these out first so you can look at those while I'm unloading. And I hope that this doesn't glare too much. I'm kind of delayed. Um, a little bit of glare, not too bad. Here, I'll put that under there and that'll probably take away that glare if I pop it up on something. So we're gonna be concentrating on the pocket full of sunshine and then I have a few other um, packs of dyes that I use too. But I'm just gonna get out all my stamps here so they're ready to roll. And we will start making cards because I'm excited to show you all this stuff. Okay, so I think we're good here and here. And yes, we are. I have several, several cards with this pocket full of sunshine. And you know what? Tis the season right now. It's summer. It's time to be making summer cards. And I am excited to be showing you these. And here comes our card stock and some ribbon, this is so, so cute. All right, you guys, here we go. I always make a mess off to my left side, <laughs> like a big mess, like you would be horrified if you saw it. Where's my bone folder? Oh, guess what? I actually put my bone folder into my cute little cup. Remember my little cute cup I got in Mexico? I put it right in there, so I've been cleaning today. I should have showed you guys when I had the camera on me, my um, shelf behind me, because I actually took a whole bunch of stuff off of it, and I threw some stuff away, and I cleaned it, and this room, I swear, I keep saying I am going to clean up my room, but I never do, but I am going to clean up my room, I promise, I need to get my new furniture in here, it's been sitting in my living room since Christmas, I know, right, nobody lives with us, it's just me and him, <laughs> okay, um, I gotta do something here with my computer so I can see what I am making. Yep. Well, this wasn't the first card of them that I was gonna make. Here we go. I'll do this. All right. There we go. Now I'm good. Okay, I gotta see this pretty color combination. Thank you so much, it is. This is Dapper Denim, you guys, and it is retiring, but I looked up all the supplies that I am using for this, um, everything I'm making tonight on my demonstrator website, and they are all still available. So we've got Dapper Denim, eight and a half by five and a half. We've got a scrap of Dapper Denim. We've got um, Whisper White, two pieces of Whisper White and a scrap of lemon lime twist, and then the lemon lime twist finely woven ribbon. And we are going to, let's see, I'm gonna get out a scrap paper here, because this is, this is what I'm gonna do here is a little messy. We are going to take our smoky slate 
um, ink pad. I gotta bring in my big shot. I forgot something. Well, I just forgot that I needed to bring my big shot in, so I didn't really forget anything. I just need to bring my big shot in. So we're gonna take one of these white, these are four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to run it through, oh, I don't remember what this embossing folder is called. Does anybody remember what this is called? Oh, Nancy, your husband's laughing. Well, you know what? My husband laughs at me every time I say that too. <laughs> He's laughing about me cleaning up my, my stamp room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, whoops. Hang on, you guys. I got the wrong platform in here. Anytime you go to, um, anytime you go to use your big shot and it feels too tight, think about it. Okay, I always back it off and go, hmm, why is that too tight? Well, I had the wrong platform in there. So I'm gonna try this again. Did anybody come up? A quilt, yeah, you're right. It is a quilt something or another embossing folder. Um, I don't remember what the name of it is, but anywho, this is the one we're using. It was in the holiday catalog, it's still available. And um, this is the raised up side and this is the uh, sunken inside, which we call debossing. And so what I'm gonna do to this, this was kind of cool, I just came up with this today. I am going to, I'm going to just drag my ink pad across it. Whoops, and we're not gonna drag it too far that way, we're gonna turn it this way and drag it so it doesn't come open on us. Well, what's going on here? Something's on my paper that it doesn't want to, hmm get the ink in there. I wonder if it's the humidity. Well, I'm gonna run it this way because I think my ink is getting pretty weak. Ugh. Okay, so notice as I'm putting ink on here, it's not going in the debossed areas, right? The sunken in areas. So you could add any color to this. And this is, do you guys see how it's a little bit lighter right here? It's really strange. I wonder if I spilled something on this or, like I said, it could be the humidity. Cause it's, I'm sweating just sitting here. Like I have a sweat mustache right now. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I just inked that up. And this is gonna be the background that we are going to put on our dapper denim card front. But before we do that, we need to do a little stamping with the pocket and here we go dapper denim ink oops oh here i can get rid of this now i'm going to just ink up this little pocket and stamp it on my scrap Ooh, perfect excellent excellent and then also in the stamp set is like that little thing that goes on the Levi's. It always reminds me of Levi's, Levi pockets. And we're just gonna do this. Yay, I did it good. <laughs> oh, I have to show you guys something new. This is the new cleaning chamois from Stampin' Up. This is coming out in the new catalog. It's like a thick little cushiony chamois material thing. And it's thicker than the baby wipes, so it actually like gets into the grooves and gets that ink out of there. So, and you're like, oh my gosh, what is she doing to it? No, it's okay. Don't worry about that. You can take this and squeeze it right out and rinse it out in the sink. It's gonna be fabulous. Um, I think you're gonna love it because I'm certainly gonna love it. I've used, I used one at my friend Dina's house. Well, I can just leave that open. But I keep it in a clear, empty clear case. We do still sell these. We sell the um, smaller ones and we sell the wood case ones. So these are great for storing stuff in. All right, so we have that done. Now I put all the um, framelits and thinlets and all that good stuff that I'm using tonight in this bag so that I didn't have to dig through envelopes. And in the pocket framelits comes this little pocket. And I'm gonna do this, and then I'm going to take the flower from the Seasonal Layers Thinlet. Any little flower would work, but that's where I got it from. And I'm gonna die cut that. 
The other thing that I need to do is I need to stamp my sunglasses. And I'm just using our Archival Black ink pad because it's nice and juicy. You want to make sure that this gets nice and solid. I'm just going to stamp my little sunglasses. Yay! It worked. And clean off my stamp here. And we're going to die cut this. We're going to die cut our sunglasses and our pocket. And guess what? Through the magic of TV, <laughs> I've already done all that. I know, I'm amazing, right? <laughs> I love saying that. All right, so I've got my pocket die cut. Now, this is the way that it actually die cuts. So if you don't need your pocket to actually be a pocket, you can cut these tabs off. But I like the way that it kind of raises the pocket up. They're all scored for you. And you can just fold over the little pocket tabs. And I'm going to just hit that with my bone folder to get it creased good. So it'll lay down. There we go. Ugh, kind of bent that one. There we go. Okay, so are we ready for this? I'm ready to show you because this is so, so adorable. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. Ugh, Glue, dry glue everywhere. Hang on, I got dry glue on the back of my flower. That will never do. That will make me crazy. So I'm just gonna put a couple dots of glue down here. And I'm gonna put my flower right at the end of that pocket. And then the other really cute thing that I've lost, so that's good. Um, we're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, is, where's the stamp? Here it is. So I'm going to stamp this little, this little tag. This is a tag like you would have on a pair of Levi's. So there's my tag and then there's some little initials here that say HBD for happy birthday. And well, I better clean these because we're using those again. I don't want to wreck one of my ink pads, right? Don't be lazy, Kelly. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this out with my scissors. Now, there is a little, there is a little tab framelit here, but I just find it's easy enough to do this because it's just cut straight. And cut off that bottom, and then I'll cut it off here. And notice that I'm leaving enough room so that I can glue this onto my jeans. I'll just put a little glue right there and glue that little tag right to the side. Isn't it cute? Oh, I got glue coming out. Hang on. That's why we have tissues at our desk, right? There we go. Well, I think some tissues stuck to my tag. There we go. Okay. There's our little tag. And then here's our sunglasses. I am just going to put the ribbon on our card. So here goes my ribbon and my ribbon scissors. So I just have a length here and I'm going to tape this right around the back. Hang on, I got too much stuff in my way here. I'm gonna do is anybody asking questions? Oh, Alyssa, the chamois is used wet, so it's it's damp. Or maybe you're answering somebody else's question. I dampened it in water, and um, that's how you use it. And then when you rinse it out, you can let it dry. Next time you need to use it, you just add you know a little bit of water again. Ooh, I think I got this too tight, you guys. Hang on. I don't want my card buckling like that. Okay, that's better. Then I'm just gonna trim these off. I really do like this woven ribbon. I think this is retiring also. The color isn't, but I think the ribbon is. Okay, here we go. I love this. I just think it's so, so pretty. It's a great color combination. Thank you, Jody. so cute. And then, where'd my pocket go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add some glue to my little 
tabs here because they kind of make your pocket stick up. So I'm just going to add my little pocket here. Isn't it adorable? I know. Make sure my glue is sticking. Hang on, I gotta wipe my fingers off. I just got glue all over them. You know that doesn't work too well. There we go. Okay, get that to stick down. I might not have used enough glue. Oh, I think I did, it's sticking now. And then I'm going to take my sunglasses and I'm gonna put some glue just on this left lens and I'm gonna pop that right in here, just like that. Okay, and I need an inside too. So this is a birthday card, obviously. Then I decided to use the stylized birthday is a single stamp. I've shown it to you guys before, but just in case somebody's new. Oh, what set is the sunglasses? It's called Pocket Full of Sunshine, Charlene. And it's also, um, it's bundled with the pocket framelits. So it's, oh my gosh, super, super adorable, cute. Look at it, it's got money in it. And it says pocket full of sunshine change. You dazzle me a little pocket change. Um, all kinds of fun little things. So thank you for asking that. So I'm gonna use the stylized birthday and I'm gonna stamp that in the Dapper Denim, which is a retiring blue, and it's like the perfect denim blue color. I love it, right? And let me get this cleaned off. I know I'm bouncing, you guys. That's one of the reasons why I'm kind of redoing my, um, right now I'm on a desk that I made and it's not real stable. It like bounces when I do things. So I am getting new office furniture. Well, it's sitting in the living room in boxes if I ever get this place cleaned out. <laughs> and I know whose husband was laughing at me. Somebody's husband is laughing. So he can have another giggle there. But here we go. Isn't, oops. <laughs> now we can laugh some more. We'll put the inside in the card. Let's get that ink pad out of the way before I wreck the whole thing. And there we go. Isn't this just adorable? Super, super cute. Okay, are you ready to see another one? Uh, Nancy, yes, Nancy's husband is laughing at me. <laughs> What's your husband's name, Nancy? Um, next, we have, where did my yellow card go? Here it is. Okay, so now we're gonna do yellow and black, which mm, that's always just a delicious color combination. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way. Okay, so here's what we got going on. We are using, oh, I don't have my die here. Where is it? Nope, it's not in there either. Hang on, you guys. Take a drink or something. I've lost a die that I'm looking for. That's not the right one. Hmm. Do you see the word sweet here any place? Uh, here it is, I put it back. <laughs> it's a miracle in itself. There, Nancy's husband, you can laugh at that. <laughs> yeah, I put something away. Okay, so here's what we have here. We have a card base that is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And we have a scrap of, these are Daffodil Delight, a scrap of Daffodil Delight. We have a, hang on, let me see if I can find this one. I've got all of these stacked up. I'm gonna close this one and close this one. There it is. Okay, on my screen. Okay, Nancy or Wynn says, my husband likes to see my room messy. Oh, I just lost it. Then he knows I've been stamping. I know, right? That's excellent. Um, so we've got Whisper White for the front, four by five and a quarter. Okay, so that's gonna go on the front panel. This is a scrap, this is a scrap, and then we have Whisper White that's two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So funny little thing, my husband actually tells me 
when, I, like, usually when I'm kind of getting on his nerves or something where I'm like, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you do uh, and, and he'll say, um, I think you need to go in there and get to work now because uh, you need to be making me some money. <laughs> so then I have to stamp. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. Um, this is the Polka Dot Basics Embossing Folder. And I'm going to run this through with the white piece in it. Through the Magic of TV. I've already done that. I know. Right. Amazing. <laughs> and we're going to glue that right in our card front. We'll just get that over right away because we don't have to do anything particular to this other than get it on our card front, and it's already super cute. So here comes our two and a quarter inch piece. Nope, we're gonna do our die cutting with the sweet is gonna be made out of yellow. We're also going to stamp our sunglasses in yellow. Let me clean this off because I just got ink all over my black. Huh, that's not coming off. Well, that's because it's archival. I'll have to clean it with something a little stronger. I'm just talking about the black ink on my block. That might be stays on from another time, too. Okay, so we're going to run this through and this through. Make sure those dies don't touch when you do something like this, when you're doing more than one thing. We're going to run these through the big shot. And then the other thing that we need is I've got my layering squares here. So I've got a scalloped square and a smaller square. So I'm gonna end up with a window framelit. And then the other thing that I need is a half a sun. And again, these, these are from the um, pocket framelits, these two, and the rays for the sun. The sweet is coming from, what did I just do with that pack? Hmm. It's coming from the cupcake cutouts. It's just the word sweet that came out of here. You could use any word on here. It would be really cute. And we're going to run all of these through the big shot. And I really do have to do a couple of these. So I'm going to do these two. The other ones I've already done. Hang tight. I'm going to run this through at the speed of light. it sounds like we're having a drinking game. Take a drink. Okay, so I've got these. And these are the little sunshine rays that are so stinking cute. And I'm going to take them and put them on this piece. But here's what we're going to do first. I've got the words pocket full of sunshine and some daffodil delight ink. I only want the word sunshine, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink up the word sunshine, but you guys can clearly see that I got ink all over, but I got ink on some of the words other than sunshine too. So let me clean this off. And now I'm going to take a baby wipe, anything wet. Oops, I just want a single layer here. And I'm just going to put my finger in it like this, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to wipe off the letters that I do not want to be stamped that got a little bit of ink on them. <sighs> Huff on your stamp to moisten it again. And here we go. <gasps> Look at that. Perfect. It says sunshine. Okay, then... We're going to take our sun and we're going to glue that on here just like this. And then we have all these little pieces. If you want to, you can put a dot on here. You can put a dot on the back of those. Um, I don't want anybody to have to sit here and watch me do all of these because you'll probably poke your eyes out. <laughs> there will be no poking out of the eyes tonight. Okay. And so... Through the magic of TV, I've already done that so you don't have to poke your eyes out. So here's our little sunshine with all those little bits. And I did have to run this um, 
thin lit through my Big Shot twice to get that many sunshine rays. And then here's our frame. When I ran it through like this, I've got a scalloped one and a straight square. And I just ran it through like this and made a cute little frame. And I am going to, oh, I know what I was gonna do with the guys and I forgot. I need a sponge, here we go. So, some of you may not have ever seen me do this and I know a lot of you probably have because it's something that I like to do. Putting some liquid glue on um, just a non-porous surface, like a paper plate or something. And then, where did that scrap piece of paper go? Here it is. I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper and my sweet word. Okay, so this is really intricate and it's hard to get glue on these things. I should have used an adhesive sheet when I ran it through adhesive, not adhesive. I always say that, adhesive, but it's adhesive. Oops, don't rip it. I think I have a fuzz stuck to it. Okay, so I'm using a sponge to put glue on the back of this little, really thin, delicate, sweet word. Okay, let's see if I can get it on here in one piece, oh my lord. And there we go. Look at that, perfect. So sponge your glue on the back of it, or you can use an adhesive sheet to um, cut it out. I'm going to take this and put it on here a little, sideways and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue to my frame. This looks like a little picture frame which is really trendy and popular right now with stamping. I'm going to add that. Isn't that cute? And then last but not least we have our sunglasses are raised up on dimensionals and we're going to put this on our card too. Here we go and I'm just going to Put that off to the side here. <gasps> what do you guys think? Isn't that super, super cute? I love it. Okay. Oh, who said that? Okay, so Char says she dampens her sponge and dips it into the glue. That would work better because it was really sticking to me. I've never had that happen before, but it was really pretty sticky. So there's card number two with our sunglasses. All right, let's keep going here. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got one more sunglasses card to show you or to make for you and then um, some to show you because I've got a couple more too. Here, let me um, close this up. I forgot to do something here. So this is a super duper cute card. Like you can't deny that, right? But here's something that will make it even cuter. We're gonna put some Baker's Twine on it. Our, you know what, I love Baker's Twine. I use this stuff all the time. And I'm just gonna wrap this around three times. I don't have to feel guilty about it because it's very inexpensive and you get tons and tons. Like there's probably a gazillion miles on a spool. No, there really isn't. I don't know how much is on a spool, but it doesn't matter, it's a lot. So let's see, I'm just going to Remember, when you're tying bows with Baker's Twine, you can tie them in a knot first so you don't have to worry about keeping them tight. You know what I mean? Because that's hard if you don't have somebody's finger there to help you hold that tight. So I tie it in a knot first, and it's little enough that it doesn't cause a bunch of bulk with that knot under there. And I also like to hold on to my loops while I am fussing with my bow Otherwise, it like all twists up and it looks goofy and you can't get it to lay right and I hate that. Ask me how I really feel. I hate it. There we go. There we go. Isn't that just sweet? Okay, now I'm done. Sweet. Here comes another one. For this card, we're going to be using the Foil Frenzy Designer Series Paper and I checked before I went live um, this paper is still available. It's a sturdy craft, like craft cardstock with foil uh, decorations. So this is polka dots. And you have um, pink, orange, green. This matches lemon lime twist. This matches our pool party or soft sky. Then you also have stripes, 
in all four colors and this herringbone pattern in all four colors. So aren't these pretty? Yeah, love it. Okay, Berry Burst card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And let me bring up, I've got these on my screen. So let me bring up my card so I know what I am doing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, hang on, I just gotta position it a little different. Yes, Kathy, a gazillion. That is one of my favorite words. <laughs> A gazillion. That's a lot. That's like a super a lot. <laughs> I am using the Berry Burst polka dots and I'm just going to put this right on my card front so we're ready to roll with this. Now, the other things that I have going on here, I have a Whisper White layer. This is four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside of our card and as long as we've got that in our hands. I took a piece of, is this half inch? Let me check. Let me get out my handy dandy um, Stampin' Up! ruler that my friend Dina gave me. Oh, it's about three quarters of an inch by four. And I'm going to take that and put it right down here on the bottom of my inside layer. And I'm going to leave this card without a greeting inside because it's it can then be an all occasion card. You can just write a note to a friend or use it for whatever I, whatever I need. Gosh, I'm having trouble talking tonight. I have not been drinking. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Okay, so very cute, right? That's just a cute little element on the inside of the card. Then I have scraps of yellow. We're going to die cut the word sunshine, and we are also going to stamp our sunglasses. So we're going to stamp them in yellow. We're going to stamp them in lemon lime. We're going to stamp them in berry burst and we are going to stamp them in Bermuda Bay. Oh my, is that not the coolest set of colors ever? All right, so these are getting run through the big shot. Now my sunshine word comes from a die set that I just had laying here and now I can't find. Why does this happen to me? Here we go. Sunshine Wishes. Sunshine Wishes has the word congrats, hope, love. It's got a butterfly, some hearts, and this big flower thing in the word sunshine. And I thought that was super perfect for this card. So we're going to run these all through the big shot. And through the magic of TV, I've already done that, so you don't have to poke your eyes out waiting for me. Because remember, there will be no poking of the eyes while we're stamping. Okay, are we ready for this? I've got all these cute sunglasses in all these cute colors and our sunshine I've already put with little pieces of dimensionals. And I've got the edging from the mini dimensionals and I just cut it up super, super small little strips and stuck it on some of the back of some of these letters. And I'm just going to pull the backing off. You guys can take a break right now while I do this. Have a drink. <laughs> Whatever you're drinking. I should have a drink too. I'm finally over all my cruddy sickness. I don't know what the heck, but I've heard of a lot of other people that are getting like the same thing I had. Not from me. They're not close to me. Like, But, ugh. My daughter started feeling sick. She swore she had strep throat too, and I did too. And she went into the doctor, and the doctor gave her some liquid steroids that made her feel better the next day. And she had the same exact thing going on that I was sick for a week and a half with. So I'm asking for that next time. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it was like the miracle drug. Look at how cute that is, yay. All right, next we are going to put on all our little sunglasses and I'm gonna have to figure out the spacing for these. So I'm gonna pull the dimensionals off the back This is kind of like, you guys, um, I actually had four cards made with this bundle. This is kind of like what an online class would be. You get, a, you get a video with each card, so it shows you exactly how to make it. And um, you get written instructions too. So there's our lemon lime. Here's our berry burst. Here's our Bermuda Bay. 
Oh my gosh, this is stinking adorable, isn't it? And our Daffodil Delight. <gasps> Look at that. Do you love? I love this. Don't forget, Foil Frenzy Retiring. Um, still available. So, and by the way, I will post all the pictures and dimensions and product ordering links for all of this stuff on my blog on Tuesday. So, um, you can go there and reference it if you didn't keep track of what's this size and what's that size. All right, so let me see. What else do I have? Do I have another card? Oh, yeah, I got one more. All right, this one's super cute, too, and I think I'm going to fly through this. So we're using Peekaboo Peach, and here's a few layers of Whisper White. One's a scrap, one's not. Uh, that's a scrap. This is a scrap. Okay, here we go. Let me find my card, and I think it was this one. Yep, there it is. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. They are cute, aren't they? <clears throat> All right, so we've got Peekaboo Peach here, and this is just 8.5 by 5.5. Just fold it in half and hit it with my bone folder. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring out our Calypso Coral ink and some of this stuff. We've got this and this. So here's where that other stamp set comes into play. What did I do with the other stamp set? Mm, here it is. Beautiful bouquet. So I'm using the Happy Birthday. Where is it? Happy Birthday out of the Beautiful Bouquet. And I'm using these flowers right here. And then I picked an inside verse also. So let me close up this black ink. It's bothering me. All right, so this is Calypso Coral Ink. And I'm going to stamp my happy birthday right on my card front right here. And then also inside the pocket full of sunshine is the set of lines of stitching. You have the like Levi lines and then you have straight lines. And I'm going to take this and do this on my card base. Oh, it's straight. I was worried about that. I'm like, oh, that's a lot of pressure, right? All right, so we've got our card base ready to roll. Next, I'm going to come in with our four by five and a quarter inch layer. And let's see, I think I will stamp that in. Let's go with, yep, we're gonna go with the Calypso Coral. And it says, happy birthday on the front. And then it says, wishing you a day of love and happy memories. And I thought, well, that's a really cute birthday greeting, right? Then here comes our other white scrap. And this time I'm using Peekaboo Peach. And let's make sure this is cleaned off. We're gonna ink that up, the pocket up on Peekaboo Peach. Oops, look, I missed it right there. Well, that's okay, we'll be fine. And then I'm going to bring in these cute little flowers from the beautiful bouquet and I'm going to Stamp these in Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, Heather, did you order this set? I can't remember what you ordered last time. Heather says she can't wait to use this set now. <gasps> I'm so happy. Oh, I kind of messed that up too, but it'll be okay because, you know, through the magic of TV, I've already done some of this stuff. The other thing that we're going to do is take this little line. Oops, I got to clean this off because we're using Peekaboo Peach now instead of Calypso Coral. And we're gonna do this. Oh, that actually turned out pretty straight, so that's impressive. <laughs> and the little bow that also comes in the um, beautiful bouquet. We're gonna do that in the Calypso Coral instead of the Peekaboo Peach. And we're just gonna put that right on that pocket. Isn't that adorable? I love it. All right, now we're going to die cut that. Oh, the other thing we needed to stamp was our tag, but I've already done that. So, through the magic of TV, I've already got this die cut. Here's our little tag right here. And we are going to, whoops, fold on that score line. There we go. That didn't want to fold for me. There we go. 
folding on all the score lines. And then I'm going to burnish with my bone folder to make them nice and tight. Are you guys dying to see what this one looks like? Because it's really cute. These are the types of projects. This was actually something that I made for my VIP group last late last summer. So this is on, you guys, if you're in my VIP group, this is on our Facebook page in the files and photos section. You'll find all of these cards that I just made. Um, and how do you get on my VIP group? Well, oh, you know what? I used the piece that I should have been using for my card front. So hang on, I'm going to cut this quick. Let me see what size it was. Three and a half by four and a quarter. So you get in my VIP group by placing an order with me. That's all you have to do. Once you've placed an order with me, I will add you to my VIP group. These are the kind of things that I share that are exclusive for my customers. So you have to be a customer to see my exclusive stuff that I share on my Facebook page for my VIPs. And all you have to do to get on there is place an order. Yeah, see, I used my scrap. <laughs> and it's supposed to be one of my layers. So I'm going to glue this to my lemon lime twist. Now, my lemon lime twist layer is four and a quarter by uh, three and three quarters. My white piece is three and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to put this onto the front of our card. Let's see, does that fit okay? Yep, it does. I always like to do any trimming before I get too many layers together. Oh, I've got 121 watching? That's awesome! Woohoo! Thank you, Suzette. I always kind of like to know that number. We're going to stick this right on here. Are you guys with me so far? It's pretty cool. And then we're going to take this and put some glue on those tabs again. And we're gonna add our little pocket right here like this. And then I've got just a couple more things to do. Oh, here's our inside. We're gonna put that in here. I think I'll stamp some flowers on the inside too, because you know, I like the inside to be a little fancy. A little special. And where'd those flowers go? Does anybody see them? Flowers. Oh, here they are. You wouldn't have seen them. They were too far away. I think I'll just put those right there. That's stinking adorable. Okay. Oh, phew. did you see that? Did you see what I just did? Yeah, look at that. Ugh. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I just smeared ink all over it. We'll just keep going. I haven't done that in a long time, so not too upset about it. But here comes some embellishments. These are enamel shapes and you can order these in our color families. But I thought these would be a really cute little accent for this card. And these are just dots. They're enamel dots. And I'm just going to throw three of them on here. Isn't that cute? And then here is a gift card and you can actually enclose a gift card with your happy birthday card. And it fits right in the pocket. Oh, I could put a flower over it. You know what? I'll do that. I will die cut one of these flowers. And I'll just... Oh my gosh, that's genius! Hang on! <laughs> that is such a great idea. I'm looking for Calypso Coral. There it is. I just need a little scrap. And I'll run it through my Big Shack quick. Here we go. I had some more cards for you guys tonight, but I think that we are going to finish after this. I'm going to show you a couple other cards with this, but I don't want to keep you. It's a holiday weekend. and Okay, so let's see. Look at that. Look at... Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. <gasps> Thank you so much. That was such a great idea. Yay. Okay, so there's my cutie patootie little card. Let me clean some of this up. I'll show you the other two cards I have using this Sunshine Wishes bundle. 
some of this out of my way so I don't drop my cards in it. So we don't want any more disasters tonight. Okay, here we go. And I don't want to lose my dies either because you know how fun that is. Then you want to poke your eyes out. That's been my favorite word lately, poke your eyes out. I don't know why. Um, where'd those cards go? Hello. Hang on, you guys. They're here. I've made quite a mess. I know they're here someplace. I just had them. Oh, here they are. They were in the side of the bin instead of laying down in there. So here's another cute little frame one, and this one uses Berry Burst and uh, the burlap background stamp. That frame again, some rhinestones on the glasses too. I used our um, clear, what is that called? Fine tip liquid glue. I'm trying to grab the bottle here because I, no, that wasn't it. I thought I had it. Well, I don't know where it is, but fine tip liquid glue. That's what I use to make my glasses shiny. Can you see that in the camera? Mm-hmm. Well, Shirlene, I'm so glad that you are going to get this. You have to get this set. It's so cute. Here's my Black Baker's twine again. So I just put um, the fine tip liquid glue. I just scribbled it all over the lenses, and then you let it dry. Don't touch it, and they'll get shiny like that. And I made this for a thank you card, so isn't that cute? So there's another one. And then my very first Facebook Live, I had this card made using the waterfront stamp set on some watercolor paper. Isn't that cute? And this is the basket weave embossing folder. Yes, Karen, the pocket full of sunshine stamp set and framelits is not retiring. However, it won't be bundled anymore. So you get a discount if you buy it before June 1st, just so you know. But it is staying in the catalog. Oh, Ginger, you didn't get an alert that I was live. Well, you can go back and watch the beginning. I have some, I shared some great stuff at the beginning. I'm so sorry. So yes, Irene, Endless Possibilities is right. So isn't that cute? This is coming back. This is the happy birthday. I just cut the happy off of it and used that. Berry Burst with Crumb Cake. And again, that stylized birthday stamp, you guys. If you don't have this, oh, it is like my favorite, and it's retiring. So here comes our sun pocket full of sunshine cards. That is a lot of cards, right? With just this one bundle. Well, and and a couple other things. You know, you're gonna add a flower and some embossing folders and some die cut words. But you know, you could you can modify if you need to. Gift card holder here, this is cool. All right, you guys, did anybody have any questions that I did not answer for you? Please retype them if you did. Um, don't forget to share my video. I so appreciate the shares, that really helps me and my business. This is my full-time job and I absolutely love it. I love sharing stuff with you guys. I I want to thank you for spending your evening with me, especially using you guys in the United States. This is a holiday weekend. Um, thank you so much for spending the night with me. This has been really fun. And uh, what else? I will be live again on next Sunday. Hang on. This is my calendar. Isn't this cute? Yeah, I know. It holds post-it notes. And it's a card. <laughs> um, on... June 3rd. So that'll be the day after my stamp sale. I am going to be absolutely exhausted. So I better start working on that now. Um, that stamp sale is huge and it's like, it's a lot of work, but it's so worth it. Everybody loves it. So I will be live again on June 3rd, 7 p.m. Central Time. And uh, I can't think of anything else. Please share my video. Use the host code when you're placing orders. And I will announce winners from tonight, next Sunday. You do not have to be watching live to win, so just know that. But um, please watch your um, instant messaging on Facebook. That's the little uh, icon, the little comment bubble that's next to your notifications. Because if I do not have your address, if I draw your name and I in your 
you're not in my customer manager system, I will need to get your address. So you want to watch that and um, make sure that you give that to me. I know some people don't check it at all. All right. What's coming up this week? Well, got my used stamp sale. I've got um, Technique Tuesday. That is a local class that I have to come up with cards for. And what else? My husband. Oh, we're getting our new concrete. Hello. That's going to be exciting. I might go visit my mom for a couple days. I haven't been up there in a while. And we always go to the Amish greenhouses. You guys, the baskets you get around like the city and even out in the, um, in the, in the remote towns, the smaller towns where they have greenhouses, you're paying $50 for a hanging basket. I'm going to the Amish greenhouse over by Nilesville and paying $25. Not lying. They end up, and they're huge. They're humongous. So I might go do that. Um, other than that, I hope to go for lots of motorcycle rides now that my husband took me for a motorcycle ride. I'm super excited because that was really a lot of fun. I, and I rocked it. <laughs> like I was really good at being a passenger. So that was super cool. All right, you guys. Um, thank you so much, Irene. You are a new card maker and I am a huge inspiration. You are making my day. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any suggestions for me on what you'd like to see, I know somebody said um, the last time I was live that they wanted to see some of the new products, stamp sets and stuff like that. I don't do that too much. I'll give you a sneak peek here and there on my um, blog. But as far as demonstrating new products, that's not, we'll wait till the catalog's live. I usually do wait till the catalog's live to do that. Um, because that way I can share links with you and share you looking at the catalog and stuff like that. Anyhow, um, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me make, please leave a comment. I do go through and read all of these comments and I would be happy to look into doing this or that, whatever you might be requesting. And next time I go live, I will be showing you new catalog stuff. So that'll be exciting. I've been making a lot of videos lately and uh, have a lot of those to share. Speaking of videos, um, please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to that. I, I do three, two to three videos every single week that I post on my blog and put on YouTube. So you don't want to miss those. There's a, there's a lot of stamping going on here in Menasha, Wisconsin. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it means the world to me that you spent a, an hour and a half or so with me tonight. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your holiday weekend. Um, God bless all of our armed forces and anybody who served in the military, I have the utmost respect for you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.